Bonjour. Today we are doing Marie Antoinette. And even though um, she became a French queen, she was Austrian born. And she was born in Vienna to Hungarian parents. And she was born November 2nd, 1755. So yes, was a few years ago. Um, so we're gonna get started with her head. I just love saying her name, Marie Antoinette. So lovely. She was not lovely. I mean, picturally, she's beautiful, but I think inside she wasn't as lovely because she didn't care about the people. Anywho, long story, but I'm sure you guys, if you're watching this video, you know who she is and what she's about. So we're gonna do, her head is very long. So we're gonna do two ovals. So we'll start with the first oval. And then now we're gonna do the second part because she has a very long face from all the pictures I've seen. So then we are going to do her bottom part. And she's got a rounded face. I think it's probably because she just ate a lot. So, so this is the first part circle and then this is the second part of her face. So we can erase this. And right here in the middle, we are going to do the line. She's looking off to the side. She's looking that way, okay? And right here in this line, we're gonna do her ear. So she's got her ear, and you only see a piece of her ear on this side, okay? We can make it look like it's connecting on this side. And I'm going to give her, just might as well do it now, some big earrings. She probably loved jewelry because she loved fancy, luxurious items. So I'm just doing a double circle and I'm gonna put the inside of her ear here. Okay, you can't really see the other side and they're just a piece of the earring over here, but we can't really see the whole thing. All right, her eyes, we're gonna put on either side. From the pictures I saw, this is one, they were a blue. They matched her dress. And then now we're gonna put her color of her eyes in there. And then they have the shiny and then the pupil. Without that, it does not look like eyes. Okay. And then she's got a crease line across both sides. And then we're gonna put lashes on her. I'm just putting two lashes, one, two. And then you can make the top part a little thicker. Do just two lashes, one, two, make a little thicker on the top, and then her eyebrows. Yes, she probably plucked them so they were perfect. I did see, of course, it was just a movie, but there's a movie of Marie Antoinette, and uh, she pretty much had whatever she wanted. Anyways, okay. One part of it's kind of sad because she was taken from her family at age 14 and married off. So that's her cute little button nose and then she's got a mouth right here. Right here's the mouth. So if you can imagine being, okay, we're gonna create this drop crossbar. 14 years old and you're taken, your family has just betrothed you to another country. I think that would be hard, you know? So we're gonna give her more of a distinguished nose here. So I get it, you know, a little rebellious, age 14. Leave mom and dad, everything you know, language, you name it. So I gave her, all the pictures you showed her have this little puckered lips. Okay, for her hair, we're gonna make a line from here to here. This is where her, hairline is, and then instead of going all the way to the edge, we're gonna go right along the outside and down here, okay? That will, this one will stay the same. So this is not going anywhere. And this is gonna go up. And then she has, I've seen her hair even more large than this, but we're just giving her, her hair is gonna be poofy. You can make it as big as you want, but she had large hair and I believe it probably was a wig. From what I read somewhere, I can't remember, but they would wear wigs for so long that um, 
fungus and things would grow inside these wigs. Ugh, that just sounds gross. I mean, you think they, you know, didn't have the same hygiene as we do now. So she's got this big hair coming out right here. And we'll just, we're gonna put putting a decorative there. So what I did is I just did a, like a flower. Boop, 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 boop. And then I'm gonna put feathers coming out of her head. So we got, do a swirl. And then coming out here, let's do another swirl. So these are big fluffy feathers that you can make swoosh. And if you want, you put some lines, boop, 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 boop. And I put pearls coming down because they would adorn their wigs with all sorts of jewels and finery. So I thought a nice thing of pearls would look lovely up here. I, I guess I should have researched it more, but I think it was her that all the French were starving. So she said that they have no complaining. They have no bread. And she's like, let them eat cake. And people are saying, they don't know if she actually said that. But anyways, uh, from what I can tell of her personality, she might have. You never know. She was very much into luxury and nice things. and Okay, lovely. Okay, now we're gonna have her, her neck. So her neck's gonna come down. And then we have the draping shoulders here. And then her outfit, um, back in the, this time, they'd have very low collars here. And then I'm putting a little scalloped edge along the side, bleep, bleep, all the way across. Um, so she married the King of France and she was only 14 years old. So, wow, can you imagine? And I think it was her that when she came into the carriage before she got to, it was like they had this set up area, probably all elaborate tent, where she'd have to take off, strip down, take off all of her clothes, and then she had to go put on French clothes. So it was almost like representing her leaving her world behind. She's coming into this new world. She couldn't even take, I think she was obsessed with her dog. She couldn't take her dog with her. That would be, you know, she, she didn't speak the language. That would be hard. Okay. I'm putting this edge along here. And then I just came in here and I just made lines. Boop, boop, boop. Lovely. Pretty. Okay. So from here down, we're just going to make her like her corset here. This is going to be her corset. And then this is going to come down into a V. Boop. Very good style. Make this come down to V. I think I had it make it go a little lower, but that's okay. You get the point. And this is going to come down. Boop. And then she had the big fluffy dress. We'll do her arms in a second. Um, so she was the last queen of France before the French Revolution, which is like Les Miserables. Um, she loved luxury in a time of economic crisis. So while the whole country was starving to death, she was in the lap of luxury eating what she wanted. Um, let's see, she was born, I think I told you, she was, she died. So the people were upset, you know, here they, I get it, I get it, they're all starving. So, and then this is going to be her, where the big ruffle is. So we're going to put a big ruffle here, make this scalloped edge, whoop. She has fancy clothes. And so the people are not happy with her, they're, you know, I wouldn't be either. And they, you know, took her, took it over. She um, was executed by beheading. What does that mean? <coughs> Cut off her head. <coughs> um, and that was 16th of October, 1793 in Paris. Whoa. 
let's see, 55, 65, 75, 75. Oh, okay, she was like in her 30s when she died. Okay, well, wow, she lived a long time living in the lap of luxury. So this is her big poofy things, and we're gonna put a bow in here. So I'm gonna have a little bow, it's like a rounded square, and you put the big bows in there. So she lived longer than I thought. She made a lot of people upset. So it looks like a bow, and then we're just gonna put the other part of the bow in here. So the bow on this one, we're just gonna put it right. So we're gonna put it right here. So let's put a square right here and put the big bow. And then now we're gonna do the edge. Woohoo! Scallop it away, baby. And making, well, that's the ruffle right there. So you wanna make some crease lines here to make it look like it's bunched up material. And now she's got the big ruffle right here too. So you can put some lines here. Erase that. And then you have her arm coming down. And on this side, she has her arm all like, oh, fancy Lancy. So we're gonna make it go straight up And I'm gonna, have, let's put, it almost looks like an oval. So let's do her hand here. And then she has one of the fingers right here. That's her little pinky. And then she has her other fingers. And this one's going straight out. This is like her casual pointy finger. inside there all right oh also we have I'm gonna put some so what I did is I made some flower oh, I don't even finish sentences I'm so bad at that this is just some decorative flowers on here all right really good Lovely. So let's, oh, we forgot this, the, her, her curls that are coming down. So first let's make the first curl coming down. So you can erase in there. And to make it look like it's ringlet curls, we're just gonna come in here and just put some curls in here. And so we're gonna add to these curls, but some of them are behind. And then she has some curls behind here. Oh, she also has a choker on. Can't forget the choker. So we're gonna put a choker necklace on. Go, make it go over it a bit so it looks like it's wrapping around. And then we have a, here's a part of it right here. Lovely. Okay, so I'm gonna take my little Sharpie and then my big rounded and let's make her look simply gorgeous. Large Sharpie around the outside. Time to erase. Okay, these are the colors I used. I'm gonna start she has pale skin, but we still wanna give her some color. So this is just peach around the outside. And then over her face, you're just gonna go lightly. But I'm first gonna go around the edge here a little darker. Her ear, that's her ear right there. Don't forget her neck. And we will go around her eyes. Oh, I forgot to sharpie her lashes right here. 
If I had to take just one piece of makeup on an island, it would be mascara. If you ask any woman, it would be mascara. Makes all the difference. Okay, so we're gonna put a little shadow in our hair, go a little on the nose. Okay, now I'm lightly gonna go over her face because she's pale, because it's kind of interesting now when people are tan, it's a sign of like leisure, luxury, beauty. But back in the days, it's a sign of um, if you're tan, that means you're a laborer, that means you go work in the fields. If you have pale faces, they put powder all over. Uh, they want to look pale because that means that they're pampered and they're taken care of. And so that was the, they wear a lot of powder, powder their hair and powder their faces. And I think it was to get rid of the ugly. I mean, they're beautiful, but uh, if you can imagine not showering. Ugh. Well, she, I can imagine she'd probably take a lot of baths. Okay, just giving it more of a shadow. A little bit long here. Okay, I'm gonna go around the eyes here. I forgot to do that. Around the nose. Okay, so now we are going to take the pink. Oh, they love their rouge. Their cheeks have to be rosy. It's a sign of health. So they're malnourished. So you just throw on the rouge and just makes them. Perk it up and go a little harder in the middle. Same with this side, one way, another way, and do a little more in the middle. Let's get her lips and then a little bit on her nose color and then over some eye makeup. Lovely. I'm assuming she had probably blonde or brown hair, but they always fluffed it up. It's either they dyed it or it's just a wig. I think it's a wig. A little bit of blue. And um, give her a blue flower in her hair, just decorative. And now we're gonna do yellow. So I made it have gold. A little burst of yellow, gold earrings, and then I made the feathers a golden color. And, and then I made the background yellow. Now for her hair, I just added gray. So along where the my Sharpie is, just putting gray in there. Go along the edge. I'm going to go around the pearls to make them pop a little bit more. Over here. The only reason that would be awesome to have a wig is that means you don't have to do your hair. You just plop that puppy on, but man, I bet it gets hot under there, you know? And I don't think I'll ever be beheaded, so I don't know what I'm gonna, I don't wanna feel about that. But I did hear that if you get beheaded, your brain hasn't fully shut off, so for a few seconds, you still can see what's happening. Who knows, right? Because they're dead. How are they gonna explain that? Who knows, right? So we're just giving it some gray. And then down here, it's gonna be gray, so I'm just gonna go along the outside here. This part's gray. Looks like I gave her a little bit more color in her face. Um, but you can go back and do that, give it a little more color. And I'm gonna put a little more gray back here so you can see a little difference between in the white and then for the blue, I think I used two different kind of blues. So there's light blue, which I did most of her outfit, and then I think I did some dark blue, but we're just gonna do it all this light blue. There for the choker is blue, her eyes are blue. Um, oh, I'm putting her eyebrows, I'm gonna make them gray. So I'm assuming so they can match her 
hair. And then for blue, you can do all of this part here is just regular, the light blue. Do darker along the edges like this. This is gonna be like gray white, but down here, this is gonna be the, the blue. And I did the royal blue down there, the really blue blue on her bows. And then in the center part, I did really blue blue. So it's all blue dress, but different colors of blue go around the outside. This is the light blue to the dress light blue, and then the rest you're gonna make the dark blue. So in here, we're gonna add some gray. So what you do is just go along that edge gray, and then, so it makes it look like a crease. So you can go along the edge here. I forgot to put crease marks in here, but you can just picture it or put the black in there if you like. Anyways, I think you can finish this off and hope you guys have an amazing day and you learned something new today. See ya.